CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiopodcast.com forward slash CES. Hi, this is Tom Newman from the Tech Podcast Network with Fogview.com. And today we're in the Multitouch booth here at CES 2011, talking to Timo from Multitouch about a great multi-touch panel here. Can you uh, describe a little bit about what this technology is? Well, this is a, a true multi-user multi-touch table, which means unlimited number of people can use it this at the same time. What you see in here is our 46-inch LCD displays, display, and the, we have three of them stacked together. We have a maximum of 14 that you can put together and everything is run by a single computer. Now, now take a look at this. You can see this thing, you've got pictures. Now, things are kind of floating by here and, and you have like video and you can actually make things larger, you can start video, it's, it's like totally interaction here and, and movement around and it's really a, a very cool technology. So where do you see the, the uses of this type of uh, panel? Right now it's mostly B2B use, meaning that we are in retail, we are in uh, hospitality, we are in corporate lobbies, we are at the museums and exhibitions, but we see this technology going more and more towards the consumer market. Okay, consumer market in terms of uh, what, what would be an application that a consumer? Well, uh, you can imagine, for example, for a game of Monopoly, where the whole family would play that game and, and use real life Monopoly objects, but the gaming board would be digital, yeah. and you could you could switch to another game on the fly. Okay, I saw in the other booth over here actually playing a game like a you know with the little uh, things going back and forth and kind of an interactive game. So that's the kind of thing. But it just seemed like you know this here where you have floating pictures and video is kind of a. Uh, more, I guess more of a demo mode? Oh, exactly, and, and it all comes down to the application. So multi-touch display doesn't do anything without the applications. So it's really the applications that determine the use of a table, or tables, or walls, or whatever is the application. Okay. And so do you actually have like an SDK to interface with this uh, table? That's correct. So we, we sell an SDK to the programmers to create the applications. And, and creating applications for this platform is really easy. It takes about two to four weeks, depending on the, on the application, obviously, to create an application for this. Okay. And so as far as getting a little bit, I guess, on the technical side, how is the application created? Is it, is it done in a kind of a, a high-level language, a, a, a drag-and-drop type of thing, or what is it? Well, first of all, on the operating systems level, we support all three, big three. So we support Linux, we support Windows 7 and XP, and Mac OS. On the development side, uh, the developer can use C++, Flash, or Silverlight. What is the pre you know, choice uh, of preference for him? Okay. And so what would be the interface from those devices to this, this tablet? Well, the, the basic architecture of this is really simple. There's an external PC that runs the whole system. So everything is developed on the PC. So whatever runs on the PC, is sh it, it, it will be shown here on the display. Okay, so you basically you have your own, your own development system and your own dedicated system for the, the tablet itself. Well, usually what we do the, with the SDK, uh, we can sell a s single display to a developer so he can pretty much do the development hands-on with the display. Okay. And so what is the smallest size? Do you have a limitation on the smallest size tablet or, or display that you can have? Uh, we have two different sizes at the moment, 32 and 46 inches. So right now the smallest is 30, 32 inches. Okay. And is this, now this is a pretty large uh, display here. Now that how thin can it get into? I can, what, what can you actually package it into? Well, it will get a bit thinner. Um, we, at the CES, we announced a new multi-taction platform, which means that we have created our own IC board that has all the multi-touch elements in it. It is totally modular, so you can create up to 100-inch LCD displays that are multi-touch enabled, and, uh, and the depth of that unit will be probably less than six inches. Okay, so this actually can be integrated into a, a standard LCD that's panel? Correct. That's correct. Any LCD TV that you have in the market can have the multi-touch capability after that. Okay. Great. Well, this is an exciting product and it just looks uh, you know, amazing to be able to, to take and just kind of interact directly with this thing on a table. So that's uh, a nice little uh, eye candy there for that. Oh, thank you. And, and so do you have a kind of price point and availability on any of this? Well, the product is available. We have shipped the product already to 36 countries worldwide. So this product is not like it's in the development. It's available right now. And the lead times are, are less than three weeks. So, so we, 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 can, we are prepared for very fast deliveries. Okay. And so where would you get more information on this? Uh, you can go to our website, which is multitouch.fi, M-U-L-T-I-T-O-U-C-H.fi. And we are, as you can tell, we are from Helsinki, Finland. Uh, and uh, we'll also have an office here in the U.S. Okay, well, great. Well, this is an exciting new product from uh, CES 2011, and this is with Multitouch, and I'm Tom Newman from the Tech Podcast Network.